that Facebook message pops up after a decade of silence. It's Raheem. Most folks called him Droopy because every time he blazed blunts, his eyes were shade drawn windows. Others called him Dark Knight, the MC assassin collecting microphone casualties. I knew him as Raheem the poet, who called every brother king and greeted their women, Peace Queen. Let a guy get distracted. Ra was knock chomp a smoke in that woman's afro, her black dashiki, and tight jeans. He was Terrence to his mom before he joined the army. I made him mad once, joking he had more aliases than witness protection. Who you owe money, I snapped. What you hiding? He's married now and wants to know if we can hang out again. Just the other day, working a metal cart through the baking aisle, I spotted a woman who put icicles in my blood. She was standing near the spices and herbs, wearing jeans and a cayenne color blouse. But she wasn't who I thought she was. Her paprika bright lips and adobo tan skin brought back a moment nearly a decade before. She resembled that woman Ra hooked me up with at a bar in Manhattan. Her name was Catalonia, like the itch on Spain's head that holds Barcelona's sapphire sunsets. Cat's eyes were that blue. Her hair made me think of a magic fountain, its cascade of curls lit by pink, blue, and green laser lights. Three months afterwards, we were bobbing our heads to Talib Kweli in dead prayers at a live show in Central Park. I was planning another trip up there before Ra swooped on her when his other plans fell through. He boasted about his fling with her, how her mouth played over his tender parts, how she was a bright horn whose notes he jazzed out. He was the Trojan horse, overrunning those who trusted him before we ran him out of the city. He was a used lifestyle lying on a sidewalk, a drooping magnum in a stairwell, lubricant oozing from its wrapper. I could hate him if time wasn't a bulldozer, if forgiveness wasn't a road paved down the center of my mind, and yet my mouse lingers over his message, wondering whether to respond or close him out.